The race is on. Companies are competing over who will be the first to take off in the flying car commercial market. Hurry Imagine. up. I know. What are you waiting for? <laughs> it's been a dream for all of us to drive flying cars. Back to the Future said that we were going to have them in 2015. That was nine years ago. Yeah. Man, we got to catch up. Christian Benavidez looks at where things stand right now. So this is about um, 17, 18 feet. A Doroni Aerospace in Pompano Beach, Florida. Founder Doron Merdinger is eager to get his personal flying machine on the market. So this is essentially a big drone. It is. It's an EV tool aircraft, which stands for electric vertical takeoff and landing. With testing already off the ground, he believes that $350,000 aircraft could soon be ready for consumers to buy. We, we already have hundreds of pre-orders. The final product, called H1X, will look like this, able to fit in a two-car garage. This simulator shows how takeoff would happen. During testing, I was able to land it on top of the guitar-shaped Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. All right, we're here. Merdinger says in the real world, we wouldn't land there. Technology on the EV toll prevents it from flying to restricted areas. Geofencing is essentially an invisible wall, so you can stop a vehicle that want to go into a secure airspace. The company says current technology